Hello, welcome to Sports BizNet. Please subscribe our channel Sports BizNet for sports related information. Today we will discuss about the evolution of ACTN3. It mainly known for as the sprint gene. There are over two decades worth of genetic research done in this topic. While there has been remarkable progress, this is only just the beginning of our understanding of genetics. New discoveries can lead to increased scientific confidence, or change our understanding completely. The R variant ACTN3 gene instructs the body to produce a specific muscle protein called alpha-actin in 3 and is very common among elite-level athletes. The protein helps muscles contract powerfully at high speeds, which may explain why the combination of ACTN3 variants have been found in Olympic sprinters. Research has confirmed athletes with this gene have a major advantage for power and sprint activities as it allows for a greater capacity for the absorption and or force within the fibers physiology during rapid contractions. In contrast, the X variant ACTN3 gene prevents production of the protein making these athletes better suited to endurance sports. Amazingly, approximately 45% of the variation in fiber type proportions is accounted by genetic factors such as ACTN3. Therefore, it's possible to suggest that genetics are a key determinant for elite-level sport participation. Now, some people do not have the X or R variant. Research that has been done shows the lacking the ACTN3 protein does not seem to have any harmful health effects to the body. However, the chances of you making it to the elite level are limited. Many know ACTN3 as the sprint gene, something remarkable sprinters have to help them win gold medals. The discovery of the sprint gene started in the 1990s. Dr. Catherine North, pediatric physician and clinical geneticist, was searching across the human genome for the gene causing muscular dystrophy, a devastating muscle-wasting disease. Structurally, they understood that ACTN3 played a major role in muscle function. In 2003, study was showing that elite Australian sprinters were more likely to carry the ACTN3 gene than normal, healthy individuals. Fast forward 13 years and we can now predict 200 meter sprint times based on ACTN3 genotypes. Your genotype at ACTN3 may be the difference between qualifying for the Olympics and winning a medal. Let's see how it was discovered. In year 1996, Dr. Catherine North discovers the ACTN3 gene when searching for genes related to the disease muscular dystrophy. In year 1999, Dr. North then find that ACTN3 is common in the general population. In year 2003, Dr. North find that ACTN3 is associated with the elite sprint performance. In year 2005, generic tests for ACTN3 variants begin to pop up. In year 2007, a Spanish long jumper becomes exception to the ACTN3 rule. As a two-time Olympian, he carried no copies of the ACTN3 gene. In year 2016, over 240 academies refer to ACTN3 and its associations with elite performance. The efficiency of the interactions between actin and myosin in the muscle fibers of your body are what control the speed and power of how your muscles move. Alpha actin in 3, ACTN3, plays a role in muscle contraction by acting as a support protein to the actin filaments. It constitutes the main component of the Z-disc, a part of the muscle that separates each sarcoma, the basic unit of muscle fibers. ACTN3 is found only in fast-twitch fibers, those that fire more quickly and generate more force, as compared to slow-twitch fibers. Now aim to push discovery further through high-performance athletes and world leaders in research. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel for similar information. Download our app Sports Biznet from Play Store.